Let's go over some Bunsen burner basics. I wanted to make a video specific for the type of Bunsen burner we're going to use in our laboratory. It's the simplest kind. It has one control on it. You can move this little lever to open or close the window, the air window, at the bottom of the burner. If it's open, air will be sucked in from the bottom and up through the burner and combust with the gas at the top. If I close it, I'll have incomplete combustion and a much weaker flame. We're going to use that control to our advantage. Now, before we get started, I've got to put on my goggles, make sure that my area is clear, make sure that I'm wearing short sleeves, and look over on the wall to make sure the gas supply is on. There's an orange light over there that, will, uh, that comes on when I've turned on the gas supply. I'm going to connect my hose nice and tight at both ends. And then, uh, let's take a look at the valve. The valves are such that if the handle is 90 degrees to the, to the gas outlet, the valve is off, like it's cutting off the gas supply. In order to turn it on, I have to turn the gas handle parallel to the outlet to allow the gas to flow through. Now, this is my lighter. It is simply a flint and steel and we're going to hold the sparking part near the flame and the cap towards me so that it sh shields me a little bit from the flame, which is going to be pretty high when we start it out. So, let's have at it. Turn my gas supply on all the way. I should hear the gas coming out. I take my lighter and strike it. Now, that flame is way too high and way too weak to, to use. It goes all the way up to where my finger is up there and you notice there's some yellow in it. We call that the safety flame because it's relatively easy to see. There's not enough oxygen going to the flame to make it hot enough or tight enough for our use. So, I'm going to add a little bit of air by opening up the valve at the bottom. Please make sure you know which way to open and which way to close. Now, as I add more air, you can hear it become more turbulent. And in fact, if I keep just adding air, the flame will go out. It'll blow itself out. So let me shut that off, turn the gas off, get ready to go again. So I have my air valve closed. I'm going to turn the gas on, strike it, light the flame. Now I'm going to be a little more cautious about adding air this time. So let me add some and get that, that flame going a little bit. And You'll notice that there is this bright, light blue cone in the middle of the flame. That's the hot part. Inside that cone, there's, it's just raw gas and air. There's no burning there. The burning is happening at the margins of the cone, and the hottest spot is right here at the very tip of that light blue cone. But this is a little bit too turbulent. You can hear it, and again, it almost seems a little bit unstable. So I'm going to back off from the gas supply a little bit. Get it to calm down. Maybe try to add a little more air to it. No, nope, no, nope, I like the flame back where it was. There, right about there. I have a nice cone of flame. I have just a little bit of turbulence. I can hear it just a little bit. And this is the kind of flame that we're going to want to use in our lab. Let's go through that one more time. When I shut off the burner, I turn off the gas. Always turn off the gas. Shut down the air. Let's open up the gas again. Strike the flame. Add a little bit of oxygen by opening our lower valve. Okay, I hear that it's too turbulent. The flame's a little bit too aggressive. I'm going to back off on my gas a little bit to calm it down. And now I have right about there is where I want my flame to be. Nice cone. Notice the flame around it or above it is almost invisible. Don't stick your hand there. It will get burned. Okay. And we could use this flame in our lab. All right. So it's just a matter of adjusting the air and adjusting the gas to get the right kind of flame. As always, if you, if you have an emergency or if you drop something on the floor, you need to go pick it up, or you get called to the office, or there's a fire alarm, you always turn the gas off first. That's your first step. Shut off the air valve, and we're good to go. That's it. Now we'll practice it in class.